Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the Fluctish channel. A penetrating M1 Abram with its cannon pointed would be the worst nightmare for an enemy troop. Its survivability, firepower, and mobility make the M1 unassailable and lethal in all terms. Starting its reign in 1980, M1 Abrams came a long way toward the most recent variant, which is the M1A2. The M1 got its name as an honor to the U.S. Army General Creighton Williams Abrams, who was a commander in the Vietnam War. M1 Abrams tanks have traveled across the world, playing a key role as the main battle tank. Nearly 2,000 Abrams served in the Persian Gulf War in Saudi Arabia, along with other wars in the Middle East. Transporting this behemoth weighing around 70 short tons is never an easy task. Rail transportation is often used by the U.S. Army to transport its troops and heavy equipment. Railroads connect Army depots to transfer points. At a transfer point, truck-to-rail or sea-to-rail transfer can take place. During Operation Iraqi Freedom in 2003, the Army transported more than 1 million tons of equipment via rail transportation to departure ports for further transportation into the theater. Prior to each transportation event, the Army conducts a pre-planning exercise to verify that all the railroad equipment is in the correct order. To accommodate oversized tanks and other armored vehicles, a specially designed DODX flat car is used by the U.S. Army. Usually, this comes in two configurations. The 54-foot flat car rated for 100 tons can accommodate one M1 Abrams, and the larger 68-foot variant rated for 140 tons can accommodate two M1 Abrams. Once all the tanks are loaded on the flat car, each tank should be secured to avoid inadvertent movement. Securing is done by two means. The first method is blocking the road wheels with wheel blocks. The M1 Abrams tank has seven road wheels per side, located inside the Caterpillar tracks. The second method is tying down the tank to the rail car. DODX flat cars that accommodate these tanks are equipped with a special load securing system. This system has four anchor channels that run along the length of the car. Anchors with chains and turnbuckles are also provided to secure the vehicle to the channels. Once the tank is in the correct position, the anchors are firmly seated on the anchor channels and then locked in position. 
These tie-down chains are placed around the tank symmetrically, and the preferred tie-down angle is 45 degrees. After installing the chains, personnel uses spanners to tighten the turnbuckle to remove any slack in the chains. This makes the tank firmly tied to the anchor channels from all four points. Securing these overweight vehicles is definitely a challenge. But what about loading them onto the flat cars? When loading them from a marshalling rail area, no additional ramps are required as vehicles can move to the rail car directly from the ground. Vehicles that have caterpillar tracks, such as tanks, can move easily to the rail car and between the platforms. For other vehicles, spanners or bridges are used to cover the gap between cars. When loading from a siding of a rail track, there will be a level difference between the tank and the flat car. In such cases, a ramp is used, and the tank can move under its own power. Loading and moving on the rail car should be done with extreme care. Three soldiers will be involved in the process. One will be on the rail car facing the vehicle, while the other two are on either side, looking at the overhang of the Caterpillar tracks. The soldier facing the vehicle uses hand signals to command the vehicle driver on his movement. For some, railroad transportation of tanks and other armored vehicles may sound like a hefty and tiring task. Obviously, it is true, but it has a bright side. Traveling on the railroad is ideal for inland transportation. But what if M1 Abrams tanks want to fly overseas? In this case, the C-17 Globemaster would be the best fit. M1 tanks can drive directly into the cargo bay of the C-17 thanks to its aft loading ramp. The aircraft can accommodate one M1 Abrams tank in its cargo bay along with other military vehicles. To protect the cargo floor from the tank's rigid caterpillar tracks, the tank is driven on wooden planks. When one Abrams tank is loaded into a C-17, it takes almost 88% of the payload capacity of the aircraft. Once loaded into the cargo bay, soldiers are left with the most painstaking task of securing the tank. Unlike all other transportation means, securing the tank is extremely important when carried inside an airplane. Even the slightest movement could upset the stability of the aircraft. Like railroad transportation, the tanks are tied to the floor with high-strength chains. 
A chain tied to the tank is connected to a tie-down device. The tie-down device has a hook that will go into a tie-down ring that is mounted on the cargo floor of the aircraft. All the tie-down chains are attached symmetrically at 45 degrees for even load distribution. To complete the securing process, airmen measure the length of all tie-down pairs. Two chains in a pair should be the same length to avoid tension building on one chain when loads are applied. A loaded M1 tank has to drive through the ramp to offload. An airman guides the driver with hand signals during the offloading process. Hand signals indicate steering directions. The M1 Abrams is a tank that has operated in many friendly countries. During multinational training events, such as Operation Atlantic Resolve, M1 tanks are used with allies. During these training events and competitions, U.S. soldiers get the opportunity to deploy their tanks in unknown environments. Training helps the tanker crew to understand the idiosyncrasies of this powerful workhorse. The tank's main firepower comes from its M256 120mm smoothbore cannon. An enemy at four kilometers is a possible target for the smoothbore cannon. While machine guns mounted on the turret are used for engaging closer, unarmored targets. The accuracy of these guns is supported by the stabilized gun mount that allows firing while moving. Its gas turbine engine delivers a maximum horsepower of 1,500 to cross any austere land in style. The gas turbine engine rotates two drive sprockets on either side to run the Caterpillar tracks. Technology and armor have been upgraded with the recent System Enhancement Package, or SEP. Handling this behemoth requires a lot of training, confidence, and courage that makes room for four souls inside. A commander, gunner, loader, and driver. M1 Abrams is known for its integrated safety for its occupants. To name a few, smoke grenade launchers, blowout panels of the ammunition compartment, and a depleted uranium mesh reinforcing the front hull and the turret to protect it from heavy fires, such as RPGs or anti-tank missiles. The tank will continue to fulfill the Army's need for heavy armor in the coming decades as well. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.